Good morning, everybody. Is that the first thing I've said today? I'm opening a brand new loose powder. I'm pointing it out because you guys who've been watching know I'm a big fan of this Giovanni loose powder, but it's pretty much gone. And now I'm using it to get a little bit more height on my tripod. I got a new tripod and it sits a little bit too low. And now I'm using this Hourglass loose powder thingamajiggy and I've never used this. The only loose powder I've ever used is that Giovanni. I've tried other ones kind of here and there, but then Hourglass sent me this. So I figured I would give it a shot, but I don't really know how it comes out. Tip it upside down, but what do I do? Still not convinced I'm doing this right, but we're gonna keep going. It looks like maybe I just shake it. If I do this, I just shake it. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. you just shake it. The reason I like the Giovanni is because it was like, had this like pink undertone, is that what you call it? Thought it looked good under my eyes. This is not pink at all. Willing to give it a try so that it doesn't go to waste. And that Giovanni stuff's pretty darn expensive, but I do love it. And I was gonna get the Huda, which is a dupe of the Giovanni because it does have a pink, they have a pink one but it was sold out. And then I remembered that I had this at home. Figured I'd give it a good shot. And if I don't notice like a big difference, I'm gonna stick with it. I also realized that I skipped so many steps this morning just now in my makeup, but I didn't do either of these. So I have no sunscreen on under my makeup, but it's just gonna have to work for the day. As I was just saying, I bought a new tripod because I, I was using my big tripod over here. My little vanity area is set up a little bit differently. So I bought a little tripod, let me show you. You guys are just propped up on the powder and on this like magnetic tripod and it's working really well. The other day I was looking for flowers and I normally get my flowers that I put in my kitchen, like on my counter, I usually get those at Target. So I was at Target the other day. They didn't have the ones that I'm used to getting. They only had like the potted plant ones, which ended up putting out on my porch. It looks pretty good. But um, I want ones that, you know, you can put in a base. So the next time I was there, I looked again and they didn't have them. So I don't know if they're just out of season here or if they just don't carry that type of flower. So I decided that Trader Joe's would be a good place to go today to check out their flowers and grab some. I just like some fresh flowers. I never used to be like that, but the last year I've just become a fresh flower girly. And like plants, I'm not good with it. Like that orchid didn't last as long as I wanted, but maybe, oh, maybe I'll get a new orchid. Then I need to get a laundry hamper. So I think we're gonna head over to Home Goods and check out what they've got. Just a couple little things on my list. Like I need a loofah, but I'll have to check my list. I always forget. That's why I make a list and I cannot remember what things I need, but I do know the two stores that I wanted to go to today are Trader Joe's and Home Goods. Pretty much got all my housework for the day done. Oh, also, you know what else is very exciting? My matcha is being delivered today. Some of you have been here for my whole matcha journey, which has been quite the journey because I got really good at it and then I got really bad at it. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was the brand of matcha that I got. I was trying different matchas and actually the first one is the one that I liked the best, but I wanted to use up all the second kind. In the move and all that, I just haven't replaced it. So I ordered so the same brand that I started my journey with and it's gonna be delivered today. So I'm very excited. We're gonna do that as soon as it's delivered and making a 
the matcha. So that's really the plan for the whole day. I'm not gonna do much to my hair if anything because it is probably on day three or four of my hair. When it gets to that point, I don't really do much to it. Also, my grays are starting to peek through. So, oh, maybe I could pick up some hair dye. Maybe not because I was really trying to stay out of Target today because I've been so many times since moving. Huh? Yeah, no Target. I'm being informed that we do not want to go to Target today. We're going to try to avoid Target. Oh, also, may go run by storage today. I feel like I'm missing so much of my kitchen stuff that I had put aside in a box, and I really don't want to bring too much stuff in, but I think I'm going to because I think there's some stuff in there that would be useful. Also, I don't know if I mentioned, I did end up having to get two storage units. I got the biggest one they had and it ended up not being big enough. That wasn't the best news. And I don't think I ever mentioned that. So now I have two storage units. So the one that you've seen me in is the smaller one and it, there's less stuff in it. Anyways, enough of all of that. I'm just gonna run a brush through this and then we're gonna get dressed and we're gonna get going with the rest of the day. First stop, Trader Joe's. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Second stop, Home Goods. And the last stop of the day is storage. There's a couple boxes that I want to put in the car. Let's just go dig through some of that and throw some boxes in the car. Sweet home, this box. Let's do a little haul. Let's fix the tripod first. Let's just start with the frozen stuff because I want to get it put away. Didn't really go in for this. I really went in for the flowers. We kind of moseyed around for a little bit and we found some yummy snacks. Mac and cheese bite. Chocolate chip. I've never heard of this word in my life. So we're just going to go with mini pancake puffs and butternut squash mac and cheese. And then some flowers. Look how beautiful. I also bought this beauty. It's an orchid. The colors are really fun. Don't really know where I'm gonna put this. This is my second orchid. I bought one last year and it died. I know they can last a little while. We'll read the instructions and see what I need to do to maybe have a better results with this one. Then from Home Goods, some loofahs, and also from Home Goods. I have a shower and then a separate bathtub and in the old house they were together combined and I love having this walk-in shower but there's nowhere to like really put my foot when I'm shaving my leg. Found this little bench that you can sit on. So I'm gonna try like sitting and shaving. I've never done that. Last but not least, we needed a hamper upstairs. Cute. It's got a little lid. That is everything that we got today. Can I help? Yeah, you can. I would love that. If you can I be in it? Oh, sorry. Hey, <laughs> I got a sister. I'm gonna try to find a different bait. Boss. Boss. Well, well, you think she's gonna like that? Is this good? Yes, it's beautiful. You like how tall I it love. is? Where is she gonna go? On that counter. I like my table. I feel like I either need to get rid of these because I think it's just too much brown or get like some orange or green something to sit on top, plates, or these napkins. Jules got me these napkins because I love that color. This is gonna be like my everyday napkin, but I don't know if it really goes with fall. So anyway, this is the table right now. The flowers look really good, but I think I need a little bit of color. I think it's a little too brown and beige. What do you guys think? Some yellow napkins or some orange or even like that green. Work in progress, but getting there. We created quite the mess. I'm gonna clean that really quick. Then we're gonna go grab some lunch. All right, Woo! only one on the floor. Oh, look at Gigi. Gigi, that is beautiful. Show everybody. Oh, look how cute that is. Beautiful, Gigi. I'm not gonna unbox those boxes right now because we're gonna go eat. Cute. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Look who I've got. I've got my bestie down here. We're about to try this pizza 
and watch Dancing with the Stars. And it's gonna be glorious and yummy. Let me just show you something, because this table's so cool, and I'm gonna buy one of my own one day. It raises up. I've seen these before, but it's kind of, I've never I've never had one, and we use it all the time, and it's great, and I love it. It's got ricotta cheese on it, I think. That is gonna be delicious. Mm-hmm, really it's good. delicious. Look what just got here. So let's make a matcha. It's early enough. I feel like this is gonna be a long video, but it's okay because I love hanging out with you guys. I've only used this once or twice, and the problem was all of a sudden my matcha's got really bad. Not the first time I used this set, but at one point, my matchas used to be so good, and I don't know what happened. They went downhill. I have faith that it's gonna be okay. I'm also going to keep it in the container because I feel like some of your comments were saying it could have been that I was putting it in a container that the light could get to and it was losing its quality. So it's staying in there. Let's follow the instructions. What was that? Oh, just a French bulldog on the coffee table. You're knocking things off. Why are you up here? And where were you? Hi, you silly girl. How did you get up there? I also, I'm trying oat milk this time, mainly because they didn't have almond milk, so that could throw things off a little bit, but we're gonna, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna hope and pray. What am I doing? I'm lost. Seriously lost. It'll come to me. I was doing something. Oh, under my sink, there's some washcloth. They might be in here, but I'm gonna try to use this for it to what heat up my water. I think it's a, it you heats up there? Water. No, it's, it was here. I don't really know what I'm doing with it. Oh my gosh, it says a temperature on here. And this tells me a temperature. 170, I think, is the max I'm supposed to use. Add 60 milliliters of water lower than 176. This is, I might have to end up buying one of these, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. What do I do, just put the water in? What was I doing? I'm so lost right now. Oh no. I just realized I don't have a milk frother. Where's my milk frother? Probably in that box that I didn't grab from storage. I have no idea where I packed it. Okay, so we're gonna be doing this without the froth. How do we know when this is ready? That's not hot at all. Oh, I didn't hit start? There was a start button that I didn't push. Usually I just eyeball all this, but the first time I do it with all this, I'm gonna measure about usually what I use. Ooh, that's a lot. Careful not to burn myself. That was fun, I like that little thing. And then we pour this into there and we whisk in like a W, an M shape. Oh my gosh, I spilled it. I don't really feel like I'm making an M. The first 30 seconds of mixing should be fast and the powder can be fully mixed. I don't feel like I'm going fast enough. This is a lot of work for a little drink. It'll be worth it if it comes out right. Now we're gonna pour this into our cup of almond milk, oat milk. Oh my gosh, I just made a complete mess. I tried to re-grip it. The good news is, you guys, it looks a little bit more normal, like it should. Now let's put some honey in it and call it a day. I'm a honey girl now. Again, I'm probably not doing any of this right. I feel like as long as it tastes delicious, it doesn't really matter. I feel like I'm tasting mostly this. I don't feel like I taste much matcha. Really, it tastes pretty good, but it doesn't taste like matcha. I feel like next time I might have to go back to my original way, which was kind of just like eyeballing it. It's really good with that honey. So it was not enough matcha, it was too much milk not enough matcha, but I measured it this time. I like the matcha taste. This tastes good. It just doesn't really taste matcha. I'm gonna give it a seven, but I was up to like a 9.5. I don't understand. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. My ratio was definitely off. It tastes pretty good. I like the flavor. It's just not the matcha flavor. So I'm gonna work on it. I'm determined to figure this out. It was definitely better. I do kind of like the oat milk, I think. Okay, you guys, well, that's it. It was not a total fail, but it was definitely not a win. I'm up for a good challenge. We're in this together now, you guys. All right, I'm gonna end this video right now because I feel like I've been filming all day. Not a bad thing. I just feel like this video is going to, this is gonna be a lot of footage. I can already see future Katie getting annoyed right about now. Actually, she was probably getting annoyed editing the matcha clips together. At that point, she's probably done. Future Katie, 
done. I can just, I already know. If I have just the right amount of footage, like about an hour's worth of footage for the day, I'm like, this is good. Anything over like an hour and 10, I'm just like, this is too much. So I'm probably really frustrated right about now. And here I am just, I'm still rambling. I'm going to help my future self and I'm going to say goodbye and I love you all. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. We should dance and really make her mad. You're still having to edit. All right, bye. I'm back off camera, I had to, I just had to. I went and made a little bit more matcha. I added a little bit more powder and a little bit more water and I mixed it up and it's much better. I can taste the matcha flavor now. It's definitely not perfect, but it's, I, I think we're closer to eight and a half now. So I feel like next time it needs more matcha. I'm there, I'm so close you guys. It just wasn't going green enough, Does that makes sense? The color green was much better. So I do think it might've been the matcha powder or it hit the light hitting it, but I can actually taste matcha now. Anyways, just thought I'd pop that. Back on here and give you that little update. I'm really going now. <laughs>